Hey everybody, welcome back. My name is Greg McDaniel. I'm your trusted guide and host here on Everything in the Bay. You know, we are going to be taking a look at the seven worst neighborhoods in San Francisco today. But first, if you guys like these videos that I've been putting out, if you guys have any questions for me, I want you to do one very important thing. I want you to hit that subscribe button right here. I want you to hit the bell button so you guys get notified every single time that I put a new video out so you guys will not be left behind and that you'll have the latest, most up-to-date information. Now, like I said today, I was out and I was, you know, been asked several, several times from the folks that give us a call. We get calls every day, dozens of calls every single week from folks just like you that are watching our videos for a long period of time. They've been asking me to put out different videos. One of them was this video. Greg, what are the most dangerous and worst neighborhoods in the area of San Francisco County? And I'm like, hmm, that's a great question. So what did I do? I put on my sleuth hat and I went out hunting. So what I'm going to find here, guys, we're going to go from the best of the worst to the worst of the worst neighborhoods to live in in San Francisco. Are you guys ready to go? Let's roll. Okay, let's jump right on in and go to the top of our list, the best of our worst. Now, our best of our worst is the outer sunset here in San Francisco. Now, San Francisco as a whole has over, over 850,000 people, and that's growing every single day. That means we're packed in here like sardines uh, to the tune of 18,128 people per square mile. Boop, boop, boop. That is tight living. Now, out of that 850 plus thousand people, over 50, almost 51,000 people actually live here in the outer sunset, which is actually kind of comical because if when you really look at the numbers, remember we just talked about how the density is for San Francisco? Well, here in the outer sunset, it is 18,671 people per square mile versus 18,128 in overall San Francisco. If you can't tell, this is a pretty desirable area based on the numbers. You know, I searched all 34 neighborhoods here in the San Francisco County, and I wanted to come out and rank these and show you guys the best of the worst all the way down to the worst of the worst. And now we can never have a perfect area, but this place comes pretty close. Now it is actually ranked number two out of all the San Francisco neighborhoods, and it's ranked 110 out of the neighborhoods in all of California. It ranks better than 88% of the other areas. So, you know, for this type of a neighborhood, the outer sunset is actually not that bad, but there is a reason why we decided to put it on the list. And what is that? That's crime, guys. Yes, we're in a big city. We're gonna see crime. Oh no! Yes, there really is gonna be crime. Now, out of per 100,000 people, we see on average about 1,500, almost 1,600 attacks on its local residents. Now, it's significantly down from the overall San Francisco numbers, which is, you know, out of per 100,000 people, you're seeing about 6,225 attacks. So it is definitely a little bit safer, but it had to be ranked on there if you're thinking about moving or living here in the city. Okay. We just talked about the outer sunset and those are some interesting numbers. I got to tell you, the second one on our list is Chinatown. Now Chinatown is an absolute blast to go take a look at, but I want to talk about a little bit of the demographics, the crime. We're going to talk about how it ranks. We're going to do the same thing we just did, but take a look at this. The demographics are astonishing. So now remember San Francisco is about 850,000 people, you know, for the county. Now Chinatown ranks in at only 10,000, 136 you know people that are living there this is the absolutely mind-boggling thing about this it is ranking into the fact that there are 34,689 people or living or existing in one square mile work life everything else that is literally on top of each other now if you've never been to chinatown it's very interesting to go take a look at but there is a definite a crime area and there's lots of stories fables and everything else about how you know the chinese mafia came in and they just went bonkers on each other over guess what fireworks so yeah it can get a little dicey down there now, if you want to talk about a little crazy, let's talk about the crime here in Chinatown. Now, again, per 100,000 people, there are 7,104 attacks. Again, San Francisco, there's only 6,225. So you definitely step this up significantly from our outer sunset that we're just talking about. That's why it had to come in, not at the bottom of our list, if you can imagine that, somewhere near the top. Now, let's talk about our third 
on the list. Now, this is the South of Market neighborhoods. Now, why is it called South of Market? Because on Market Street, it's south of it. Pretty easy to figure out where you're going to be landing here. So the demographics here in the in the south of market guys there's about 35,386 people that do reside here in the neighborhoods that puts you squarely in an awkward position that makes there's 13,918 people that are living in a per square mile now south of market there are a lot of high rises so i do kind of understand that median age is kind of around 40 years old so you're looking at the you know the the, the well-to-do kind of uh, you know tech guys or gals or anybody else that lives in there but it is going to be a little bit pricey now 28 percent of the people have kids under the age of 18 so it is a more or less a neighborhood for families and kids just can be a little bit more vertical you know here in south of market 43.7 percent of the people are white uh, african americans bring up you know 7.90 percent asians come in at 37 uh, 37 percent and there's a few other nationalities that kind of all come together that bring up the rest of the pie now it's a great area i highly recommend it but let's talk a little bit in regards to why did it make the list of some of the worst areas to live in and yes guys crime that is definitely going to be one of the main reasons that you're going to see that and you're meeting the cat bandito he's going to join us on videos from time to time he has a mind of his own and we love his little butt for it now if you guys got cats Give me a like in the video because you can't live life without your furry little friends. But let's get back to some of the more important stuff that we've been talking about and let's talk about South of Market so when it comes to its crime numbers. Now, we're coming down a little bit on our crime numbers, but it definitely had to go in here because our, our livability is only at a 63%. Now, when a livability is only at 63%, that means there's a couple of other factors coming in. Let's talk about livability for this neighborhood, South of Market. Now, the South of Market area, guys, we talked about is about 34,000 and change people which means it ranks in at number 24 out of the 34 total you know established neighborhoods in the san francisco county area it also ranked number 594 here in california which ranks better than 31 percent of the areas let's talk about crime crime here in the south of market area is actually a little bit lower but a little bit higher kind of in a median area for the san francisco area uh, but you know per 100,000 people you're coming in at 4,468 crimes on its population now san francisco again only has you know 6,225 so it's just shy of the overall average here in the city okay stepping into our fourth neighborhood of some of the worst places to live here in san francisco county now we're going to take a look at ocean view this is a neighborhood that gets an overall ranking of 62 out of 100. now there's a population here of just under 31,000 people and that makes it a pretty good sized area now we've talked about it a couple of times but there are a total of 34 neighborhoods in the in the san francisco area this one comes to ranking in at number 25. it also ranks number 643 of all the neighborhoods in california it ranks better than 27 percent of the areas now, why do we put it on the list? Let's go over a fun few facts about the neighborhoods. Let's talk about, you know, the cost of living here. It's about 184 out of 100. That makes it 84% more expensive than the average U.S. marketplace. Crime. Now, there's about 1,808 crimes, which is done in this neighborhood, which is 30% lower than the U.S. average. But it still leaves you that you could be a victim of the crime one out of 56, which is lower than 30% percent of the u.s average okay let's take a look at our next neighborhood this is called excelsior now excelsior is a really unique area um, i've spent quite a bit of time in, in neighboring neighborhoods and out of the 100 here guys it ranks in at a 61 at a total of livability and out of the 34 this comes in right kind of squeaking in near the rear at number 28 out of the 34 neighborhoods to live in it was also the 700th neighborhood ranked here in california which makes it better than 23 percent of the areas fun little fact excelsior is actually 81 percent more expensive than the average home in the u.s excelsior's crime it's not horrible but it definitely ain't great let's put it that way you know um, per 100,000 people there's going to be 2,592 people uh, estimated to have an attack done to them which that means that you are in one in 39 chances of being a crime of a victim our next neighborhood is the Mission. Now I can tell you one thing about the Mission. The Mission is absolutely a 
blast to go check out and hang out in but i will tell you this about it it is definitely not one of the safest neighborhoods to go spend a lot of time in but let's talk about the overall size and population you know there is an estimated about 56,000 and change folks living in the mission district right now which means our livability score comes in at 58 out of 100 as you can tell guys we're trending down here slowly but surely getting to the lower levels of the areas you want to spend time in now we talked about in the other the other areas now we've ranked them at a 34 one being the best, 34 being the worst. This one came in at a rough 32. It also ranked 816 out of the California neighborhoods, which ranks better than 12% of the areas. You see a downward projection here. Cost of living, we gotta go over cost of living. Cost of living here, guys, is 207. That means it's 107% more expensive than the average US marketplace. It also comes rocketing in here in regards to its crime. Guys, out of 100,000 people, there are 10,300 people that are going to have some sort of crime done to them. Which means, guys, this means you're going to be 1 in 10 of a potential crime victim. Now, with that all being said, it is still a lot of fun to go hang out and check out. Just keep the eyes on the back of your head and your head on a swivel when you're down in the mission. Okay, here it is, guys. This is number seven. This is the Grand Master. This is the, you know, big tamale. This is the fat lady singing. This is the Royal Royale. This is the neighborhood that is coming in at one of the most dangerous, worst places that you can possibly live here in the San Francisco. So, you guys ready to learn what it is? Okay, welcome to Bayview. Guys, Bayview is ranking in with a population of just under 36,000 people. Um, and it ranks in with a livability at a miserable 52 out of 100. And yes, it holds the top ranking. Out of one out of 34, it comes in at ding, 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 ding. Yes, 34th ranking of the worst neighborhoods in San Francisco. It also ranked in at 907 of the neighborhoods in California, which ranks better than only 3% of the areas. So, let's go over the brass tax. What's it cost to live in Bayview? Well, it comes in at 68% more expensive than the average here in the U.S. The crime here in Bayview, that you are uh, 1 in 15 uh, of potentially getting a crime done to you, which means there's 7,119 crimes done in this area so you've definitely got to keep your head on a swivel it's up one percent from year over year now the neighborhoods and everything that we've covered in these videos now there are good things and bad things about every area that you're going to be living in moving in one to know something about I just wanted to be able to give you guys some perspective in regards to the different neighborhoods that you're moving into or thinking about moving into or maybe you have a friend or family member or someone else who might be thinking about buying in there this is just some food for thought like i said guys we get dozens of people every single week just like you calling us and watching the videos that we're putting out there so if you guys are thinking about making a move i or one of my trusted associates and, and or team members will be glad to talk to you about the specific areas that you're looking in so that we can be a resource for you okay now like i said before if you guys like this content leave me a comment also click the subscribe and the bell button so you're notified Bing! Every time we put a new video out. Okay, well, thanks for watching. Again, my name is Greg McDaniel. I'm your trusted guide and host for all things San Francisco Bay Area, and I'll see you guys on the next video.